Hello, uh, I have just uh, modified my Turner D Plus 18 amp speed controller to disable uh, low voltage cutoff. Low voltage cutoff is very good to save your batteries from being uh, too much discharge and take damage. However, if you fly a quadrocopter or uh, a tricopter or something, perhaps with an expensive camera under, uh, you do not want your battery to be saved and uh, the propellers cut off or, and the thing falling down from the sky that's not very desirable so it is possible to remove the voltage cut off but then you have to be careful when you fly so you know run with a leap alarm or something so you know when the battery is running low so you don't damage it but it's better the battery runs low than you crash and lose everything I think uh, the thing I did was I opened uh, my speed controller and I looked at what kind of chip it was it was a At Atmel uh, 8 at Omega 8 and uh, I looked at the data sheet and uh, looked on what ports that were analog inputs and then I measured the uh, voltage of that port with different cells counts of battery connected. I tried with a 2S and a 3S and a 4S and I saw how the voltage changed on that pin and uh, by doing that I figured out there was somewhere on this circuit is a voltage divider that divides the voltage from the battery by 11 so for a 3s battery the voltage on the pin was about uh, 1 volt around 1 volt and uh, also the speed controller recognizes the voltage when it starts up it's how it knows how many cells the batteries are you can hear it when you start it up it beeps two times for a two cell battery and three times for a three and four for a four and so on so uh, and if you put uh, I tried first just putting five volts on that pin but then it refused to start because then it think it's a huge battery pack and it won't start up so I figured out if I put one volt on it it always always thinks uh, it's connected to a 3S battery so I just for testing now made a simple voltage divider using a 47K resistor and a 10K resistor and I just connected them to the 5 volt regulator there so there is the 10K resistor there is the 47K and I connected it to that pin that means uh, the voltage divider makes uh, it's a uh, it's divide about five so it divides uh, the five volts to about one one volt it's not exactly but it doesn't need to be exact because the leaper batteries varies in voltage depending on how much charge or discharge they are but and then I just connected it I removed the resistor that was there and I connected it uh, to the voltage divider so now when I turn it on it's always gonna be one volt there so no, no it doesn't matter what many cells the battery has it always gonna think it's connected to a 3S battery and uh, if the battery runs out it won't shut down to protect the battery and the pin that is connected to it is the second pin from up that that pin is this but I connected it up there at the resistor I removed it was a small resistor yeah so that's how I made it I haven't run the motor on an empty battery yet to see if it works completely but I tried connecting different batteries and it always beep that is it as uh, a 3s so i guess it will work yeah
and also I think every speed controller can be can be modified this way if you just locate on what analog input on the microchip that is the battery voltage. Yeah, that's it. Goodbye.